Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Uh, so in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if a separation has happened here, or if this person goes to you, then this reading is going to be for you. We are going to take a look into their current thoughts, feelings, true intentions, um, how they are seeing you and their possible actions. So basically, this is going to be an energy check in on this person. Um, bot so bottom of this deck, we had the emperor and below that we had the page of swords. Bottom of this deck, we had Queen of Pentacles and below that, again, Page of Swords. So, Page of Swords repeated here twice. Two different decks. One, one, one. Uh, so, this person is heavily stalking you. They're watching you. They are studying you from a distance. Um, they're very focused on you, especially the Emperor and the Page of Swords coming out. This is someone who is just you know, whose entire attention and focus is on you and just you. This person could also be obsessing about you a lot. It's just someone who is, well, I wanted to say studying you, but then I got the word religiously studying you. So they are obsessively and religiously studying you. It's almost like someone making notes of uh, what's going on with you, what's going on um, in your life, what is happening with you. So if they um, can find any, this person could be stalking you on social media and everything. Now, if you have blocked this person from everywhere, then this person is, if you have any common friends, family, coworkers, colleagues, what have you, this person is asking them around or at least some way or the other trying to gather information about you from them. This could also be... Um, No, this person driving by your house or, or trying to keep an eye on you. Yeah, someone is holding on to you. This person is holding on to you with that four of pentacles. Generally from the four of pentacles, I get a lot of stubbornness. But from this energy here, I get someone who is holding on to you. We also have the queen of pentacles here. Queen of pentacles is someone like uh, that is wife material. Queen of pentacles is someone you get married to. You build the ten of pentacles with this queen of pentacles. So yes, this person could be seeing you in this very... Um, queen of pentacles kind of energy you could be also very focused on your pentacles right now you know um, like self-respect on your money on your career job on your stability you could be very fixated on that but this person is thinking um, very highly of you right now if you have been manifesting money right now um, you know doing well in your career especially Mm, then this person is a very okay so i wanted to say attracted to you but the word i got is proud of you this person is proud of you of what you are achieving right now hmm all right let's see So the seven of swords in reverse i believe i saw the seven of swords okay this is the five of swords in reverse i remember seeing this and here i saw the seven of swords in reverse okay well that is a good energy five or seven of swords in reverse is actually a good energy all right let's see wow look at that we have the ten of cups and ten of pentacles this combination is together is yeah no wonder we saw the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck 
I don't know where this shadow is from, but yeah. Um, we saw the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of uh, this deck itself, right? And I said, this person is thinking very highly of you and seeing you as wife material. And then the Ten of Pentacles come out. And this is what I exactly said. The Queen of Pentacles is someone you build the Ten of Pentacles with. And here we have the Ten of Pentacles as well as that Ten of Cups. That is some good energy. Oh, this person is uh, very into you right now. the deck we have three of swords okay two of pentacles is of wands five of pentacles and three of cups Ace of Cups, wow. And the Six of Cups. These are really good cards that are coming out. And the Ace of Pentacles. We already have three Aces here. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Only the Ace of Swords is missing here. Okay, this reading is going to be good. Nine of Swords. Okay, look at that. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles showed up. And the King of Swords. Ooh. We already have the Queen of Swords here. You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the way the Queen of Wands just almost flipped and went across the table. And then we have the Empress, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and Empress, this is someone. And we do have the Emperor here, right? At the bottom of this deck. I have shuffled these cards. So this is Emperor, Empress. Hmm. We also have King and Queen of Swords here. Yeah, I did say, right? This person is really, really thinking highly of you right now okay let's see okay we have four aces here i just said we the ace of swords was missing and the ace of swords is on the table right now so we have ace of wands ace of cups ace of pentacles ace of swords That is four aces and the ten of pentacles and ten of cups. And we also have the emperor and the empress. Wow. Okay, so we have the ace of swords and the temperance. You could be dealing with Taurus, Libra, Aries, another Libra, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius. There aren't much major arcanas here except the Empress and the Temperance. But the rest of the cards are pretty positive, especially considering we have four aces. And these are not even the clarifiers. These are the main uh, spread. This is the main spread, right? Okay, um, this person right now is dreaming about you a lot. They're thinking about you a lot. They're dreaming about you a lot. 
Mm, and this is this could also be daydreaming like this person doesn't they just dream about you they daydream about you they dream about you at night every time this person goes to sleep almost like they can't help but think about you eight of wands communication it's very possible this person tried walking away from you or they could be right now insecure or scared of the fact that you are walking away from them because we have the eight of cups and the moon here you could be dealing with a pisces or a cancer but this person might be scared of uh, this communication they, they dream or daydream about a communication here with that eight of wands considering we also have the queen of swords the queen of swords and the ace sorry not the ace of wands the eight of wands is a good combination here because that is someone who actually wants to speak the truth actually wants to communicate clearly because only the eight of wands all by itself can be that very you know fiery passionate kind of communication but there's no stability right it can be that but considering we do have the queen of swords as well as the ace of swords here right in their actions we have the ace of swords so that is a good thing because yeah this person wants to speak the truth they want to tell you the truth they actually want to come clean here Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, there's nothing much to say there except that this person is thinking very, very highly of you. They're thinking of you. They are actually thinking of marriage. This person just dreams about getting married to you. As much as cheap, I mean, it can sound very cheesy, but this person dreams about marriage with you. They dream about a long term with you, long term commitment, marriage, stability, future, kids. And as I said that, we have the Queen of Pentacles look at that you can't make this up queen of pentacles and ten of pentacles i and i was just talking about the ten of pentacles and here we have the queen and ten of pentacles again that is double confirmation so we saw the queen of pentacles from both the decks and the ten of pentacles from both the decks also, five of um, swords is in reverse, which is a good energy, actually. Five of swords in reverse is always a good thing. Uh, this is someone who wants to come out of that because in a pride, this is a very manipulative energy. Someone who plays games, someone who's very, very manipulative. But reverse, this is a very, um, I'm done with that sort of thing. I, I'm done with these games. And considering we do have, as I said, the Ten of Pentacles twice, the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, Ten of Cups, the Four Aces. Yes, this is as well as the Queen of Swords. This is someone who really just wants to change how... Um, and we also didn't have any reversals, right? We, we don't have any reverse cards coming out here. But the cards were an upright. So... That is a good thing because this is only the five of swords is in reverse here. The one card that should be in reverse is in reverse here. Three, three, three. So yes, this is a good energy. Also, we do have the page of cups. Pages are messengers. Page of cups especially can be an apology, um, like uh, an honest apology here, especially an honest apology. Um. Yeah. Also, the four aces always talks about, aces are always about new beginnings. And the four aces coming out in the spread is someone wanting a new beginning with you. There's a very strong possibility of this new beginning um, here with this person. And they really want it. They, someone is really, really desiring this new beginning with you. And as I said that, we have the ace of cups again at the bottom of the deck. We already have the ace of cups here. This is the ace of cups. And this showed up again at the bottom of the deck. So now we have double aces. The fact that there's silence between the both of you is making this person overflow with emotions almost. Like they're very overwhelmed right now. They are a lot in their fields. And this is because of the silence. Intuitively, this person is picking up on your energy. You know, like they are very, very tapped into your energy intuitively. 
so they could be dreaming about you a lot we already have the four of swords and i did say this person is dreaming about you so yes they're dreaming about you um this is also i'm getting with that high priestess here this is also <clears throat> not just well how to put it exactly not just seeing you as this uh, marriage material as this person they want to get married they're also very attracted to you and this is sexual attraction that i'm getting from the high priestess i don't always get the uh, sexual attraction from the high priestess but here particularly i get a lot of sexual overflowing of emotions here This person could be, you know, pleasing them. How to? It's so hard to sometimes say certain things here on YouTube. They're pleasuring themselves, thinking about you. That's what I got. Um, yeah. So also we do have the high priestess and the empress here. So high priestess and empress is again feminine energy because the high priestess is again the divine feminine the empress is the divine feminine the high priestess is the divine feminine and we already have the emperor here this is the divine masculine so this person it's almost like they see you it's not almost like it is they see you as a spouse because these are double confirmations that are happening the clarifiers that i'm bringing uh, that i'm trying to take out are all double confirmation of what has already come out in the spread here Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups repeated twice, Ten of Pentacles repeated twice. With the Two of Pentacles here, it's very possible this person is feeling a little, sorry, feeling a little imbalanced right now you know they feel like they have to balance a lot here this person could be trying to you know be busy and try to manage everything and try to fix everything and work on themselves also like they are working hard on themselves with the two of pentacles here I generally don't get, get this kind of energy from the Two of Pentacles, but here from the Two of Pentacles, I'm getting the energy of someone working really, really hard on themselves. Because they want to balance everything out. Everything out. It's almost like someone is preparing themselves to be in that Ten of Pentacles, in this Ten of Pentacles kind of relationship. Someone is preparing themselves, working hard on themselves so that so that they can be this emperor to the empress. And we have the page of swords again. This person is uh, very focused on you. As I, I did mention at the very beginning of the reading, uh, this person, um, you know, if you are working very... No wonder in the beginning of the reading, the word that came was they're proud of you right now. They're proud how you're working on yourself, how you're putting effort on yourself, how you're growing. Because the queen of pentacles, as I said, is again a very stable energy, someone who is working hard on their career, someone who's managing and juggling everything like a pro. Because the queen of pentacles is a very, very beautiful energy. And the queen of pentacles is someone you build that ten of pentacles with. So that's the energy I got that but I was corrected at the very beginning of the reading. I wanted to say this person is thinking highly of you, but they are more being proud of you. And it's almost like because they are seeing you working hard, because they are seeing you in this queen of pentacles, it's inspiring them to work hard on themselves. You are inspiring this person from... I mean, working hard on themselves. And no wonder they are stalking you. They are keeping an eye on you. They are studying you because they want to be a match, a true match, a true match when it comes to you, a true match of the queen of pentacles or the empress or even the high priestess. They want to be a true match. That is why this person is uh, studying you from a distance. It's not for any like, they're just obsessing over you or they just, 
I don't get a very weird energy from this page of swords. I actually get a good energy from the page of swords, which is very rare because I did hardly get good energies from the page of swords. The ace of wands, ace of wands is simply this person again. Also, we do have the four of swords and the ace of wands, right? So no wonder this person is very, very um, sexually attracted to you right now. Dreaming about you. You both could be dreaming about each other a lot. You know, this person could be sexually trying to manifest you. That's a way of manifesting someone also. Sexually trying to manifest someone. Anyways, um, Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So this is this person, whenever they think about this new beginning, whenever they think about whatever memories you both shared together, whatever memories you uh, have together, whenever this person thinks about all those happy times, they really, really get very sad. They feel very abandoned. They feel very lonely. They do feel a lot of loneliness, a lot of sadness and being out in the cold when they think about you, when they watch you from a distance, when they're watching you from a distance, when they're thinking about you, when they're dreaming about you. They feel a lot of loneliness. It's also very possible, as I said, this person is working very, very hard on themselves, trying to be your match. And yes, this person is working hard on themselves, but there are times whenever, when this person feels very lonely and they feel that they wish they had you by their side right now. They wish they had someone to talk to. And as I said that I noticed, we do have the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, caring energy. And Queen of Cups is also someone who will listen and, you know, Queen of Cups is a great supporter, like, like the Queen of Pentacles. To me, as a reader, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups are very similar kind of energy. And the Queen of Pentacles already showed up and now we have the Queen of Cups. So this is this person. They wish they had this Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles kind of energy by their side right now. Almost like inspiring them more. If they had access to you right now, if you were by their side right now, this person would have felt more, much more inspired, much more supported. This person misses your support. They think that you are going to, you are a great partner, someone who's going to stand with them, beside them through thick and thin. Reminds me of wedding vows and everything, but yeah. Okay. With the three of cups, it's, it's very simple. Ten of pentacles, three of cups. This person wants reunion with you. They want another chance with you. They... They want those happy memories, happy times together. They want to celebrate with you. Whatever success you both are achieving, whatever they are achieving, they want you to be happy for them as they are happy for you. Because again, as I said at the very beginning of the reading, they're proud of you right now. And they want you to be proud of them too. And that is why they are working hard on them on balancing things in life. If this person did have some sort of monetary issues in the past, or this connection overall had some monetary issues, then they are really working hard so that you both can have that 10 of pentacles because 10 of pentacles is hard work. It's two people constantly, consistently putting in the effort to build that 10 of pentacles. Relationships, commitment, marriage is hard work. And this person wants to celebrate with you. They want to have a beautiful relationship, a beautiful connection where you both celebrate each other. They also want happy times with you, right? Because they miss you. And they also are hoping that 
they will be able to get out of this loneliness this feeling alone feeling lonely feeling like they don't have that support system because they see you as their support system like someone who would have supported them like you know no matter how hard it got you would still support them that is how they see you they think of you so they hope and wish they're trying to hold on to that hope here with that five of pentacles and three of cups that one day they will have these three of cups kind of moments with you celebrations with you reunion celebration It's funny that I'm doing the no contact readings just when it's Mercury retrograde. I didn't plan for that. But Mercury retrograde can bring, bring people out of the woodwork. So, yeah. All right. The true intentions are Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. That is very positive, very simple. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They want emotional fulfillment with you. They want a new beginning with you. Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to that Ten of Pentacles. They want to build with you. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles again. All of these cards are just... It's almost like one card is just clarifying the other card. That's all. Uh, we also have the magician and the hanged man in reverse here. Hanged man in reverse is someone who actually wants to take action. So it's ready to take that action. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. But this person wants to take action. The ace of cups, ace of pentacles, action. Six of cups, they feel a very beautiful soulmate connection with you. This could be also a past life connection. Also, as I was saying, Mercury retrograde. Six of cups can talk about someone you had a connection with uh, in the past. And yes, this person could be coming back because... As I said, Mercury retrograde brings people back from your past. So yes, um, they have they see you as someone who has gone through a lot. You have gone through a lot, not just because of this connection, because of this person in in life in general. You have gone through a lot. You had gone. You have gone through a lot of fear and anxiety, and you overcame that. Because there's the Eight of Cups, right? Nine of Swords and Eight of Cups. That is someone, Eight of Cups is someone walking away from that Nine of Swords. You had to face a lot in life, a lot of regrets. Not regrets. I don't know why I said regrets. I wanted to say anxiety. But it came out regrets. Maybe you do have a lot of regrets. A lot of, you know, woulda, coulda, shouldas. And you had to overcome that anxiety, fear. You have overcome a lot in your life. This is how this person sees you. No wonder the first message was they're proud of you. Because they see you as someone who has gone through a lot. And they also have put you through a lot. Yet you manage to come out of that stronger. And as the queen of wands and the empress, that is very, very strong energy. Very powerful energy. Someone going through that nine of swords, having the strength to walk away from that nine of swords and then stepping into the queen of wands and the empress. That is powerful energy. And that is how this person sees you. They see you as a powerful person. Queen of wands also, and the empress, they see you as beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and not just, I don't just mean physical beauty here. Yes, physically, they do think very highly of you. They're sexually very attracted to you. We do have the queen of wands. So yes, they think that you are very, very sexy and hot and all of those things. But other than that, as I was saying, this is not just physical beauty. This person finds in you, sees in you. It's more than that. It's how you are as a person. You could be very, you do have a very warm heart. This person accepts that. They see that in you, They're, your warm heart, your kind, nurturing uh, nature. Also, we do have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, right? You also saw the Queen of Swords, I guess, at the bottom of the deck at one point. I, I think I saw that. Yes. Or maybe I'm wrong. But we do have the Queen of Swords here. So we have the four queens here and the Empress. The Empress is the manifestation of all these four queens.
plus the high priestess, which again is the divine feminine energy. So this person thinks of you in the highest of ways possible. And they're very attracted to you. They might also be aware you were into witchcraft or um, tarot and all of these things. You know, esoteric and witchcraft, all of these things. And they th find it, if you, if this person is aware of all of those things, they find it very sexy that you are into these things. Like, you you know, you have that magical kind of element going on with with you. You're almost magic. Now... They want to talk. Their actions are pretty simple. They want to talk and they are trying to balance themselves out. They are trying to be as as peaceful as possible when they come towards you. Very calm, cool, collected when they come towards you. This person doesn't want to come towards you as this, uh, you know, page of wands, knight of swords kind of energy. Someone who's just rushing in, saying something. They don't know what they are saying they don't know if they can come follow through all of those things they are saying no this person wants to come towards you with that very cool collected calm and very straight conversation very honest conversation clear cut communication that's what this person wants and that is why this person is very trying to calm themselves so that they know what exactly they have to say to you. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't noticed the bottom of this deck is nine of pentacles and uh, nine of pentacles is again the minor to that empress this is the minor and the empress is the major so yes and below that we have the sun again very positive cards all right let's see some messages from this person I'm working day by day toward that is this is what I exactly said I'm sorry I'm getting so over excited I'm working day by day toward our future and our stability I also want to invest more in spending time with you this is what I said this person is working hard on themselves because they want a future with you seven of Pentacles energy the magician we already did have the magician at the bottom of the deck I'm starting to notice all sorts of signs and coincidences and realize my own power in creating them. I'm working on manifesting you. I did mention, right, this person could be sexually trying to manifest you. 3333. 33. And that is exactly this energy. I no longer seek answers from others and I'm starting to appreciate the knowledge that is inside myself. I can now see the real truth. So this is this person working hard on themselves. So this is the Hermit card. So yes, Hermit is someone who is who has gone inside and, and is looking answers inside them. Not looking for any sort of external validation. King of Cups. I feel grounded in my emotions and, and, I'm, and I want to hold you. I'm not letting other things or people bring us down. I'm here for you. Yes, that is that the energy I got is someone who's proud of you and someone who wants to be there for you, like, because they feel you deserve it. That is the kind of person you truly deserve. Let me get some more cards here.
Come on, these are too many. Yeah, see, I'm happy that you are glowing and growing. They're proud of you. This is what I said, right? I want all of you and your love just for myself. You know I'm possessive about you. Yeah, the page of swords, couple of times, of course. I'm aware of the damage I caused you and I know I wasted so much of your time. Maybe it's better to stay away from you. Yeah, this person is aware of whatever they have done to you. I can't help but compare everyone I meet with you because there's no one like you, right? You are the nine of, sorry, you are the empress, the high priestess and all the four queens, of course. It was easier to say goodbye than keep disappointing you over and over again. Yeah, this person has disappointed you. And this is the energy of someone wanting to take responsibility for their actions. It's not like this person wants to run away off from what they did to you or not take accountability. They want to take responsibility and accountability of whatever they have done and they want to make it up to you in the right way. Well, Libra, that is your reading. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. Um, I did mention the signs, didn't I? Yes, I have. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.